In this video, I'm going to talk about creating multiple choice questions in Microsoft Forms. So I've got my survey that I've created called Event Feedback and I'm going to add a multiple choice question in. So to do that, I'm going to click on Add New. And sometimes Microsoft will give you some suggested questions based on the title you've entered. You don't need to use them, but if you do, you can click on them, you can add them all, or you can just remove that. So Forms is trying to help you as you're working through creating your surveys. I'm going to click where it says choice, and that's my multiple choice question that we're going to have a look at. So when I come in here, I can pop my question in. My question is going to be, what session did you attend? Might need to check my spelling. So you can check your spelling, make sure it's okay. Read what you've popped. Put a question mark, because that's how it's going to be formatted in your survey. And you see just to the right hand side here as well, I can add an image or I can add a video. So if I want to ask questions about those or give someone a reminder of an image or a video, maybe you took a video in the event and it's just going to give them a bit of information. You can add them in there and embed them into the form, the survey that you send out to the people you want to fill in. So once I've popped in my question, I've now got option one and option two. So if I just click on option one and start typing in Monday, and as soon as I type something in, Forms is going to give me some options. So it's trying to be clever and help me and speed my process up. So yes, I want Tuesday. And I'm going to also add another option there. So I'm going to go for Wednesday. And I can keep going and going and going. I do have add other option as well. And that's going to allow me to add an option where anyone who gets this survey can put in something else. So if they select other, they have a free text box where they can put in their own information in their own day. I can click on the rubbish bin if I want to, to get rid of any of these options. And you'll notice on the left hand side that these are circles and they're called radio buttons. So this is a single choice answer at the moment. I can make it a multiple choice by just toggling multiple answers across and you'll see that it's changed into a square and now whoever's filling in my form can click on multiple options if I want to. You've got the usual copy, you've got the usual delete and you've got the up and down arrows to move this question in and around your form and your survey once you've got multiple questions in there. I can again, just like all the rest of the questions, mark this one as required if I want to. So anyone who gets my form needs to complete this before they can move on. And I've got some options underneath the three dots that are relevant to this type of question. So I can shuffle the options if I want to. And that means when the when I send this form out, they'll get different options. So they will all just click on the top one. Under the three dots, I've also got subtitle. So I can add a little bit more into this question type just to give more information or a bit of background. If I just scroll down so we can see that a bit better, as soon as you click away, it moves away. So I'm going to take off subtitle. You'll see there's ticks there. As soon as I take off the tick, I can see that option again. I'm going to take off the tick to shuffle options as well. Just click back on those three dots. And I can also branch. So I can create branching from this question as well. And what that means is if they select Monday, I might send them to question two. If they select Tuesday, I could send them to question three and they would miss out two. And if they selected Wednesday, or other, I could send them somewhere else. And we'll have a look at branching in a separate video. So some really nice, quick options to get some data back from whoever you're sending your forms and your surveys to. Lots of options for free text and single or multiple choice answers.